In this series of videos, I will show you how to use the Microsoft Visio Pro 2019 desktop app to build and update an organization chart that's based on and linked to a list of employees in Microsoft Excel, such that if you edit the Excel data, the org chart will update. This particular video teaches you where to find and how to run the organization chart wizard template. I've launched Visio and will click New and look for the organization chart wizard. If it does not appear right up at the top for you, scroll down a bit and click the Templates tab and look for the Business category of templates. Click Business. You will certainly be able to find the Organization Chart Wizard template here. One click on the wizard will open this detail window where we see four templates. These other three are not data driven. So click the first one, Organization Chart Wizard, and click Create. The wizard's first question asks whether our employee list is already stored in a file or if we want to enter it now. Visio can give us a head start if we've not built our employee list yet. We'll choose the second choice this time, though in a later video in this series, we'll go through this again and choose the first option. For the type of file, click the Excel button and then click Browse and specify the location and file name of where you want the new Excel file that Visio is going to create to be saved. The path you specified appears here. A message appears telling us to replace the sample data in that file with our own employee data. And here is the Excel sheet Visio created for us. Notice the curious sheet name and these five columns, or fields, which provide the bare minimum for an organization chart. Later, I'll suggest ways to improve on this, like adding unique employee ID numbers. Now, they left row two empty, but it's, a, it's bad to have a blank row in a list of data in Excel. So I'll fill this blank row with the first employee, and add the rest below. This Reports To column is where we put each employee's supervisor. That's how the org chart will know which shapes to connect to which. The spelling of the supervisor name must exactly match the spelling of that employee's name in the Name column, which is another good reason for adding ID numbers to the list instead of relying on names for identification. Also, the Visio Organization Chart Wizard only supports one supervisor per employee. It will not understand if we put multiple names in the Reports To column for an employee. Notice that Becca has nothing in the Reports To column because she's the president of the organization and will be at the top of the org chart. We'll exit Excel, save the workbook, quickly answer the wizard's remaining questions, and let Visio build the org chart based on the employee data. That's fantastic. However, I have some advice that I hope you will take regarding your employee lists in Excel. Watch the next video in this series to learn how to build the Excel datasheet correctly for a Visio org chart. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and add a positive comment. If you need live instructor-led training, either in person at our sunny Long Beach, California Training Center, or remotely from your location, check out our training classes at AccelerateComputerTraining.com, where we teach software like this every day of the week.